10 News. In San Ysidro today, troops were ready for what could have been another rush of the border. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. Federal agents and armed soldiers at the port of entry prepared for the worst here today. All of this nearly one week after members of the migrant caravan tried to force their way across the border. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano live in San Ysidro uh, where border agents had a drill today. Rena. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're here in San Ysidro where we were expecting some sort of rush to probably happen. We do see a helicopter up in the air right now. There was one the whole day, but about 30 minutes ago, a second one was deployed into the air. We also see lots of CVP presence all around this area, but nothing like what we saw last week. Shots fired and smoke bombs deployed. Hundreds of federal agents and armed soldiers mobilized at the Otay Mesa port of entry. But this time, there was no breach. This was a special large-scale exercise. The first one since the migrant caravan attempted to run across the border last weekend. At 6 a.m., the Joint Forces shut down the port to conduct the 15-minute drill. The goal, make sure the agents are ready for anything. We need to be prepared uh, for what's going on because with all due respect, we're not. We are responding to this crisis in real time. Last Thursday, Governor-elect Gavin Newsom met with advocates helping migrants legally seeking asylum. But others, like this Bay Area-based anarchist group called By Any Means Necessary, or BAM, are encouraging another rush. BAM distributed this flyer Friday evening, urging migrants to march into the San Ysidro border at 11 a.m. Saturday. Javier Elizalde said he was in Mexico this morning and saw what looked to be migrants mobilizing. You can see a lot of immigrants and a ton of police, like maybe like uh, 50, 60 policemen, like kind of like armed, ready. On the U.S. side, we saw some Border Patrol agents standing by at key points of the border. We asked Homeland Security if they knew about the BAM flyer. They told us they were aware. It was weird to see someone on the roof. So, yeah, I think there's a lot, well, there's more policemen than other things. Now, last Sunday, this entire area was blocked off and shut down, including the Las Americas outlets. And we are told that caused an economic impact of about $5 million down. But today and so far, it's business as usual. Reporting live in San Isidro, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. I know those businesses feeling the pinch. Rena, thank you. Me